As COVID-19 continues to spread in our communities, we've been able to research the obstacles that excluded persons with disabilities from accessing the best information during the initial response. We discovered that too much information was inaccessible, especially to those who may have visual, hearing and intellectual impairments. Even when it was accessible, it was sometimes too complex to understand. It could often be sensationalist and therefore sometimes fear-inducing for the viewer. To include every viewer and listener, sign language and subtitles must be used together in all cases. In short, what's needed is a clear and understandable flow of information in plain, easily understandable language that avoids confusion and alarm. We also discovered that persons with disabilities often felt excluded from information that was disseminated via digital platforms. Whether people are disabled or not, digital mediums might not be accessible for all. Inclusivity for everyone means that information must also be made available via posters, print, radio and SMS messages. The expression, every word which is written must be spoken, remains true for many persons with disabilities and means visual signage must be available and obvious in all public and transport spaces. We have a responsibility to make complete and up-to-date information accessible to everyone at each stage of the response. Finally, when it came to interpersonal contact, we discovered that transparent face masks, especially in medical settings, are vital in order that people can lip-read, and that physical accessibility, especially to pharmacies and all the healthcare centers that remain open, is vital. What we've learned is that persons with disabilities in all environments and from all walks of life must be included in each stage of the planning for the COVID-19 response especially when it comes to accessing information. To guarantee inclusion for everyone, it helps to remember the motto of the disability movement. Nothing about us without us.